Here I am out at my shooting area in my backyard and out behind us is the main woods. I've been trying to reclaim my lead for a couple reasons. One to recycle it into new bullets um, and the other is to keep it out of the environment. Yes, lead came from the ground originally but I don't need it polluting the woods behind my house. I don't see any need to fill the trees with lead or the ground or have metal laying around. So as a really crude sort of bullet catch system, I've put some logs up here. These are white birch logs that I put up here last year. But white birch doesn't last long. It deteriorates pretty quick. But I've been pumping it full of lead and... As you can see when that happens, they crumble. So what this allows is for you to reclaim your lead because as these logs get used up, they will crumble and then your lead will fall down. And I can usually just pick it up off the ground here. Also, I'm sure if I disassembled some of this, which I don't want to right now, I could probably find a lot more. You can see bullets stuck in different places. There's one that went through a log. I'll show you that piece in a minute. This is a 310 grain shot out of my 44 Magnum Ruger Red Hawk, and it, you can see it's stuck in this piece of 2x6 here. There's another one right there. These pass through a piece of wood that I'd been shooting for about a year. Here it is. And I had it sitting up on top there, and when I shot, I would staple my targets up on here and shoot into it. You can see this big soft spot here in the middle is where most of my stuff went to. And these were all, for the most part, the heavy 44s. Around here you can see I started shooting some 38s and 357s there. The 38 specials seem to stick in it pretty good. Here's a 357 that almost made it out the backside. So in this middle part here, that's probably about 8 inches thick. Now there's no need to dig and rip like this because if you just keep adding logs to your shooting area, they'll then eventually the old ones will disintegrate and you can just pick up your lead. There's no need to dig through it like this. I'm just trying to demonstrate the potential. You can hear the stuff falling. Here's some of the 310 grain 344s, uh, some jacketed bullets, some 38s. So after some digging, here's the hull. 
And there's a lot more in here. That's just the stuff that I could get to in the middle. Uh, this unit has a lot more life left in it. I'll put it back up there and keep stapling stuff to it and shooting at it. I've been experimenting using steel as a target at different angles to make a bullet trap and I like the way it works but I don't like how it fragments the lead bullets so I'm looking into some ideas I read online about boxes filled with rubber mulch or shredded tires things like that I'm gonna look into that as a possibility too thanks for watching